up you guys today we are going to be talking about my everyday gold jewelry pieces how i style them how i wear them and where they are from so if you guys are interested in knowing where i get my stuff then keep on watching um i get questions asked a lot about my necklaces and where just all my jewelry comes from that i wear day to day um i'm really not a big uh like chunky jewelry like fashion jewelry type of person um, I went for years without even wearing jewelry because I couldn't ever find anything that I really really liked or wanted to invest my money in that I felt like would hold up and would be something that I could throw on with everything um, whether it's jeans and a t-shirt or a sweater a dress just whatever I wanted pieces that I could wear on an everyday basis that would look good with anything that I could dress up or dress down layer wear individually um, and I think it was like last summer like around August or so I discovered um, Miranda Fry and these pieces you guys are amazing for the price point and for what they are they there's I have yet to find anything that even compares to this brand of jewelry and um, I have tried to buy a couple pieces like every month and just kind of you know build up my collection and these pieces are amazing I have this piece right here it's this um, bracelet and they all have the little Miranda Fry, it's like the MF um, tag on them, and it's kind of probably hard to tell, but this bracelet here I got, and for some odd reason, it is like jammed, like the, the latch here is jammed, so I, I'm not even able to get it off, and I'm scared if I try to get it off that I'll break it, so basically since probably like, I don't know, September, or so since I've had this I've worn it every single day and it hasn't tarnished it hasn't turned green like it still looks amazing and so that just I wear it in the shower I wear it swimming I wear it I mean it never comes off and it really does just kind of go to show you the quality of these pieces she is getting ready I think to launch the spring collection so she will have quite a few um, like new pieces that will be coming out so if you can't get these particular ones there are things on there that are very similar that you can get your hands on um, the necklace that I'm wearing this is the Lola chain and I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me kind of get up here and see. Yeah, it's got these little um, like beads here on it. And then I bought the chain sep or the charm separately. And this is the Felicity charm. It's just kind of got like a little bird on it. Super cute. You can take these charms on and off any chain and wear them with whatever you want to wear them with. This is one of my favorites, actually, just because I feel like it looks good with anything. And another piece that I get asked a lot about is this necklace, which isn't actually Miranda Fry. I don't even know where I got this. It's actually, I hate to say this, it's actually kind of janky. Um, I mean, it's like gold-ish, but it's like tarnishing. And it's like one of those necklaces that like once it starts looking super janky, I'll just like toss it. But it is a really cute necklace and I like the way it looks. But like I said, I literally have no idea where I got this from. It's super cute. I've had a lot of people ask me about it. Um, I did look and find something similar to this online. And I will try to insert a picture here for you guys to see. For some reason, I can't get it to pop up on the video. I'll um, put it on my Instagram stories and you guys can shop it that way. Um, but Miranda Fry has a lot of jewelry very similar to this. So if you're willing to invest a little bit into something nicer, I would suggest doing that because, you know, to me, spending 20 bucks on something like this that looks cute for like a month and then it starts turning green or the gold starts wearing off of it, like to me, that's just a waste of money. Like I would rather spend my money on something that's going to hold up um, a little bit better and a little bit longer. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to mention this because I do get lots of questions about it and it is super cute, but it's just not the best. It's not the best quality. So if you're looking for something a little bit nicer, I would suggest going with the Miranda Fry and she does have charms that look very similar to this on her website. So yeah. Um, that's just something you know to think about. I did want to include this because I know a lot of you have asked about it. 
The next um, necklace that I want to show you is this. This is the London, and I absolutely love this. If you can kind of see how it just like is so shiny and sparkly, and all this is is like little little gold um, beads basically. And this one, I will show you guys kind of how I wear my necklaces sometimes. I like to layer a lot of them. And I just think it really adds to your outfit. Like, I know I've said this before. I'm a sweatshirt and t-shirt type of girl. Like, that's just normally what I wear day to day. But I think if you can throw on a couple cute gold um, necklaces, rings, bracelets, it really adds to, you know, it really adds to your outfit. And this necklace, it can be worn, you know, longer or it can be worn as a choker. It's got different lengths on it so you can tighten it up or kind of let it out. And it won't be so tight around your neck. But I like to wear this one tighter, kind of like as a choker, and layer it with something that, you know, comes down just a little bit. And I just think this is a really cute combination. I'll stand up so you guys can see this a little bit better but I just think this is super cute and you know like I said it looks good with anything I mean you could wear this with a dressy top obviously I'm wearing it with just a plain sweatshirt but these pieces are so nice together and I just you know like I said I really feel like it can dress up any outfit and layering them just kind of adds adds to it so the next piece I have by Miranda Fry is this necklace and this one is called the Ashley and this chain is super long I think it she says that it can be worn like 12 different ways there's actually a Miranda Fry um, YouTube video where she shows where she shows you how to wear this necklace and it can be worn super long where the pieces just kind of hang down in the front hold on or you can take it and this just has like the little Miranda Fry tags on it that I love these I don't know there's just something about them I think they're so cute um, or you can double the necklace up and you can wear it like this or you can kind of bring it around and all these and this necklace, I mean, there's so many possibilities with this necklace, but I just love the way it just hangs down here in the front. And if you have on like a lower cut shirt, I think it's really pretty. Um, you can pull, hold on, you can pull this down and make these shorter or longer or whatever you want to do. And I've also seen where like if you have on an open back dress, you can wear this and the necklace part can hang down in the back. And it's super cute. You guys just need to get on the website and kind of look and get on the YouTube channel and look at the different ways to wear this. I just really love this necklace and I just love that you can do, you know, different things with it and just give it different looks with whatever, with whatever outfit that you have on. And the next piece that I have is the Chloe. And this is one of my favorites as well. Also have, have it in the bracelet. And this is probably my favorite bracelet. Um... I try to wear this one every day as well just because I just love the way it looks and I like to wear it with the matching necklace and this as well you can um, it's got like a little extender here so you can wear it you know like a choker or you can wear it a little looser around your neck and like I said these are just cute layered together or you know if you want to wear them individually they're just as cute and all these pieces guys are so amazing like the quality I'm not even kidding when I say like they really are worth what you pay for them for a piece of jewelry that doesn't paint or tarnish I feel like unless you're gonna buy 100% like 14 karat gold this is like the next best thing because I wear these like a lot of the times when I get in the shower I don't even take all my jewelry off especially if I'm just gonna hop in right quick take a quick shower and get out it takes more time for me to take all this stuff off than it does to just leave it on hop in the shower and get out and I can't tell you how many times I've done that um, I know on the website it says that you're not supposed to wear these you know swimming or in the water or get lotion perfume hairspray all that kind of stuff on them because it will damage them and it probably will over time but you know I mean for the price to be able to get in the shower or to go swimming with them on and not ruin it instantly is it's pretty amazing and that's why I continue to repurchase these because I know the money that I've invested into them they're gonna last and they're gonna hold up and they're not 
they're not going to be, you know, something that I'm going to have to throw away in three months. So I just think these pieces are really great and that's why I continue to buy Miranda Fry because they're just my favorite. They're my favorite everyday pieces and I know a lot of people, you know, love the big chunky like jewelry and the, the dangling earrings and I think they are so cute on other people but for me it's just not my style. I feel overdone with it. I feel like I tried too hard with my outfit. I don't know. It's just not my my particular style and I do think, like I said, I do think they are cute on other people but for me, just gold dainty jewelry is like more my jam and I just feel like it goes with my style and um you know it, I feel like it dresses up my outfit without it being like too much so yeah these are the pieces that I absolutely love I have um a couple other pieces that aren't from her that I feel like are just as good um this piece is from this is just like a little it's like a little gold chain and it's got like this little it, I don't know if you can see it looks like a little diamond but I think it's like a sapphire or something I don't know but again it's just like a very simple necklace and this is from a brand called I don't even know if I'm gonna say this right Majore 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 I will link this um, in the description box below. So if you guys want to check out their website, I don't, this is the only piece that I have for them. So I can't really um, say just a whole lot about the quality. I do know that I have worn this quite a bit and I do shower in it and it has, it has held up. So I'm assuming that the quality is probably very similar to Miranda Fry. I don't know that. So if you get something and it like, turns a crazy color in two months. I I don't know. I um, also have this bracelet from Miranda Fry. It's like the the snake, I don't know what you want to call it. I think this is like the McKenzie is what it's called. But yeah, this is super cute too. Love wearing it. And I will like wear multiple bracelets together. So like I'll have like two or three on together and I think they look really pretty. But yeah, so and then I have a necklace that is similar to this as well. It is not from Miranda Fry, but it is the look of it is very, very similar. And this is from Fraser Jewelry. And I don't really know that much about this company or this brand other than I see a lot of it. Um, I don't know. It's like a sponsored ad or something that pops up on my Instagram quite a bit. And I just see a lot about it. And I think they had like um, a sale going on at one point or something. Like I could get, I don't know, like 20 or 30% off of a piece. I can't remember. But I ended up getting this because I really loved it. And this I'll wear like a choker. So I really like wearing the majority of my necklaces like a choker actually. But you just put it on and it looks like that. So, and I will wear, you know, something with it or wear it alone. But I think this is really pretty. And this... The um, quality of this seems to be pretty nice. I haven't worn this one in the shower. It doesn't look to be as like sturdy and um, like the quality doesn't seem to be as good as Miranda Fry. But for what I paid for it, which was I think like 19 or $20, like it's fine. You know, it's fine for now. And I'll, you know, continue to, to wear it and kind of see how it holds up. But I really love this necklace, actually. And I love that it matches the McKenzie um, bracelet that I have. And I really like it. The only thing about this particular brand is that, I, if I remember correctly, it took forever to get. Like, I feel like I waited on this for like a month. And so, I don't really know what that's about. Maybe it's just where it's shipping from. I don't really know, but it took forever. The Miranda Fried Jewelry, you'll seriously have in like two days. Two to three days and you'll have it. So, their shipping is like on point. You don't have to wait forever for something. Um, yeah, and their customer service is great. They have like um, a chat. If you get on the website, you can um, chat with them and they can kind of help you decide on what pieces to get and everything like that. So, it's really great. We're about to wrap this up, you guys. The last thing I want to talk about are my rings. Um, I wear a lot of the same rings every day. Um, this ring right here is from Miranda Fry and this is what ring is this I can't remember exactly what ring this is but I will 
um, leave it in the description box below but it's basically just like a little gold ring with like a little um, diamond slash faux diamond in the middle um, and this actually come as a set it come with two and you can wear them separately or together obviously sometimes I like to wear them like this I think these are really pretty and then I wear um, like these little just gold bands which I'll kind of show you if you can see I have like a whole a whole tray full of them but most of these come from like the little gold bands I actually got from Windsor store and they come in like a pack of like literally I think it was like 20 for like ten dollars and these are just they're super cheap like I wear them for so long and like the gold starts to like turn on them and so like I just toss them in the trash and like I'll get a new one out of this little assortment here but yeah um like these little gold bands literally you can get them anywhere um this one is super cute it's kind of like I don't know what what shape is that is it like an octagon I don't know but anyways it's got like a little diamond in it and these are super cute to wear I just like to wear little gold rings I mean I'm pretty I'm a pretty simple basic person so yeah um let's see what else do I have that you guys would want to know about these little bands with the little diamonds in them those are all from Windsor store um, let me see I do get questions about this ring a lot too and I am pretty sure this come from Target yeah and the quality of it like just looking at it is really nice it's just got like little diamonds in it and it's like a cross it's actually really nice the back of it you know like I've worn it so much it's kind of gotten like the gold has kind of rubbed off on it but I mean I didn't pay that much for this either but it looks really nice on and so I do like to wear this one a lot and I have had questions in the past about where I've gotten this and I'm like 98% sure I got this at Target back like last year sometime so and my last two pieces that I wear that I absolutely love are my Pandora rings and I actually got these I think last year for Christmas from my mom and um, these are just I, I don't I mean are they sterling so I don't know but they're really nice if I'm sure you've got have heard of Pandora before but they're just like the little rope ring and the little um, it's like the little beaded one and then I have this one as well I forget what this one is called but these rings are really nice and you know I do like to mix my metals so I'll wear like gold and silver together and I just I like the way that looks I know a lot of people aren't into that but I will do that from time to time and I just like wearing these like on my pointer finger or on my middle finger and I just think these are really hope nice. I answered some of your questions about my necklaces and where my jewelry comes from and hopefully you guys can get on the website and check it out and that you can find some cute gold dainty pieces to wear every day too and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time bye